Hey Cancer, welcome to Live, Life, Love, Tira. Today we're delving into Cancer. I'm going to just say right before I do my spiel, okay? I had to ground my energy and I had to gather my thoughts. I feel rushed. Have you been rushing a lot? Have you been not able to take a breather like you feel like you need to? I'm talking to a Cancer that knows this, like you're aware of it. All right, smash that like button if that's you. Okay, today we're delving into what you can't see coming towards you, okay? This can play out past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you, all right? I want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, supporting any kind to the brand, as well as the channel is greatly appreciated, okay? Any and everything that has to do with myself and the channel will be down below in the description box, okay? So let's go ahead and delve into, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could just be in that hard working energy right now, Cancer. I really feel like you've been working hard at something, okay? And I'm hearing the fruits of your labor. So while I'm filming this, we're going into, I believe, full moon and Pisces, okay? Um, so a lot of things will be revealed to you. I feel like this is a time where a lot of things are going to be unfolding within your life, but within you internally as well. Smash your like button if that makes sense for you. But what's the overall energy for cancer and what they can see? Spirit, please and thank you. Okay. I care for the earth. I see you really delving into this cosmic egg energy where you have respect for all life. Okay, Cancer, and I'm not going to get on your ass about how you got to this point. All I'm saying is that I see the duality within that. I see the action that you had to perform, and I see what you had to receive in order to learn this lesson. I'm going to say it's a lesson because, Cancer, I feel like you're a very a smart, okay? You're a very smart individual, some of you all have been real cautious about what you say around people. I feel like you can't really trust a lot of people right now, or at least that's the energy that you're in. I feel like this Piscean energy has a lot to do with revealing truths to you and seeing things for how they actually are. And then knowing how to move forward, how to move accordingly. And I feel like that main energy is what propels you into having respect for the earth and respect for all things. Not saying that you didn't before, but I feel like there is some type of deeper understanding here. Okay. See, I create harmony. I feel like you are someone that creates harmony and peace in your life now. Now, what you went through to get to this, it may come out in this read, but I'm feeling that it's some hard shit. I mean, we all have our obstacles in life, right? But Cancer, I feel like this is something that was like on your path to transform you. I feel like, I feel like you could be in tour with someone right now. Smash that like button if that's you. Yeah, I am forgiving. Cancer, ask yourself, how forgiving are you? Because that may be the very thing that liberates you in some type of way. I see you in your head because you're trying to control situations right off the bat. Let's delve deeper, spirit. What can Cancer see? Coming towards them. Ten of Cups. Oh, okay. Happy wife, happy life. That's what I just heard. You could be expecting a child or your significant other could be. Your partner. Page of Swords. You're watching this closely. This isn't the person you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands. You see something you like, Cancer, and you want to go towards it. But I'm going to tell you right now, what you're going towards, you're going to have to be transformed. You're going to learn something here. And Cancer, I'm going to be very straightforward with you. There is someone that you were interested in, okay? If... If not, then this may not be your reading. You can always check on my playlist, okay? Um, they caught your eye. You think about this person. You may watch their social media sometime. 
but you envision your life with them a little bit, at least here and there. You know, I'm not saying you obsessed or anything like that, but I'm just saying this is somebody that catches your attention. And let's just say cancer, sometimes it's hard for things to catch your attention. Will of Fortune. This is something good, though. It's coming in. It's good karma. Three of Cups is here. So um, this could, you could know this person for some of you all. But for a lot of you, I'm just getting third party energy, okay? Because you still are dealing with someone or someone is still in your energy, okay? But your eye is somewhere else. And I mean, I do see you kind of in and out. You can't really devote or I don't, I, I don't see can't. OK, but I don't see you devoting a lot of time and effort to spy on this person, quite frankly. But at the same time, you think about it, a family with them. You think about life with them, something that you like. This would be wish fulfillment for me. Yeah. Three of Cups end up coming out because you have an extra energy. This is third party energy. OK. And I feel like, you know, I'm not saying you do this often, you know, Ooh, temperance card. Ooh, some of you all could have been doing you often a little bit more than usual. And you're like, I don't like that energy with the Ten of Pentacles. You want to ground something with someone. You maybe thought you wanted to fix. There is some type of void here. Um, that's what I'm going to say. You're trying to feel some type of void here. You're placing like your person you've been with for a while. Okay, you're placing them in the void. You're like, eh, not really yet. And then you rush over and you see. You probably just stumbled into this person, you know, into their energy, saw them four of cups. And then just as quick as they were in your life, they were out your life. There was a moment where you all were separated with the queen of swords here because this person went through some type of transformation. That's why you have to go through this transformation. This person put in a lot of work. It was destined for them to do this. And now if you want to approach them, if you want this with them, you're going to have to do so as well. With the sun card here, you will have happiness. But I do see a child here as well. I see a child. Some of you all could not have children, especially if you're a male. And I'm going to throw it out, a male over the age of 40. Okay? And then I'll go as low as 25. Maybe 24, 25. Um, and then males over 40 or 40 and over or the 30 and 8 club. <laughs> I'm not, you know, making no fun, but that's the ch that's the energy I'm getting. And I'm hearing challenge. That's the challenge there. So um, it's like something you want. OK, I see you wanting a family. You don't want to like be dealing with this in and out energy like it's not satisfying to you. And you're wondering why it just doesn't make you happy anymore. You're trying to fix things within yourself, and now you're trying to fix that void, right, Cancer? And then you're placing things in that. You even place this person you've been dealing with in there. And then when you start to envision happiness in life, you envision this person. Or they tie in hand in hand. The person you're envisioning is going to pop the fuck up if you don't know them. But I'm telling you, you know this person. You've ran into them. You've had some type of separation from them. Maybe you just conversed with them before and then you have a relationship. So it's like, well, you didn't have time to give for, to that. And this person wasn't really pursuing you like that. So, you know, they were doing their own thing, transforming themselves. And it's like when they completed that, now yours began. That's what you can't see with the nine of wands here. This is you. A warrior energy. Shango could watch over you. If you know, you know I'm not explaining that. Um, I see this whole situation taking a toll on you, all right? With the star card here, but you will rise again. Why are they telling me gargoyles? That's what I'm thinking about. Like, so you could be like a night owl. Four of Pentacles, you're holding on to your youth. You're holding on to your wish fulfillment. And the person that's coming in or the person that you are, I'm going to say chasing because that's, you're discreetly chasing them. Okay. Look, six of swords. What's this blockage? Page of wands, because you haven't reached out to this person. Okay. Eight of pentacles. You haven't put in the work. I'm going to tell you right now, cancer. If you're going towards this person, okay, you're in a masculine energy, whether you're a male or a female, okay? You're going to have to approach this situation like a hair of fine energy. That's what they're giving me, okay? This person has done 
major transformation and has leveled up spiritually. Okay. And I'm going to just be honest, but I feel like that is along your path as well. Okay. Something of such significance. See, I'm hearing the song. Uh, what is that song called? When it say, wake me up inside. I forget what it's called, the name of it, but um, just type that in. I'm sure you'll find it off that. Five of Wands, you still have fight in you. That's really what um, the Nine of Wands energy kind of gives. Last wounded warrior, you've been through a lot, but you still have fight left in you, okay? So this situation is really placed in your life to see how bad do you want that wish fulfillment? Cancer, how bad are you willing to work for the things that you want? Because it's about to be harvest season. And are, is, is all your eggs in a row? In a basket? You got to ask yourself that. With the Ace of Swords here, Spirit is saying that that's the truth. And you need to be very clear with yourself about what burns you out. What takes from you and doesn't give to you. That's what's going to be revealed to you, okay? With the Nine of Swords here, you've been all in your head about this. Ten of Pentacles, how are you going to have this longevity? Because it seems like everything is opposing this four wands. See, I was going to say that this was a twin flame connection because it's too strong, okay? This energy is very strong, especially from the feminine energy, okay? You could be a male or a female. They could be a male or a female, but they're in the yin energy, all right? That's of receiving, and you're in the masculine. That's yang of action-oriented, okay? Um, so I would say what you should do is work on your internal world. What is keeping you up at night, stressed out? That's what is coming to the surface for you to work on, okay? Will of Fortune is in the upright for this person. They're currently going through good karma because they've surrendered to the divine, okay? So the person on Capricorn's... Oh, I keep saying Capricorn. Are you a Capricorn cross watcher? Like maybe you have um, Cancer Moon, all right? And you have uh, Capricorn Sun, okay? If that's you, I do apologize, you know, for the delay in readings, all right? But thank you for your patience. So the person, right, what you can see, they could have been blocking something out. This person, uh, four of cups, this person is kind of guarded right now. It's kind of giving me guarded energy because they are trying to protect themselves. This is somebody that doesn't want to be open or susceptible to letdowns again, all right, because of how much transformative energy they have transmuted okay we see the nine of wands come in again so you see how that mirror effect is how you're in the nine of wands right now fighting to persevere to push forward it's like the last tidbits of the manifestation or the beginning of it so your person is in the end and you're in the beginning it's like a mirror effect seven of swords See, this is interesting, okay? We have the sword here and we have the sword there. Um, so, two of wands energy in the beginning of their spread, your person spread, right? So, this person could be making a decision, right? They're making a decision to remain uh, strong in a situation. But at the same time, I see that protection there those boundaries, that two of swords energy, where this person could be blocking out a lot of things. And here we have the five of swords, okay? This is that competitive energy, right? Right now, this person is recovering. That's the energy I'm getting here. This person is choosing to recover because they just went through some shit, Okay, just like I said, the Hierophant card comes out because this person is very spiritually inclined. They've done a lot of work. Okay, this person got tired of not receiving what it was that they wanted in their life. And they did something about it. Queen of Pentacles and they come out on top. This person is in the harvest season, just like I told you. Okay because of their spiritual work that they've done because of their internal work fighting their demons fighting their shadow self what doing shadow work right we also have the five of cups 
but this person still has growing pains. That's why they're healing with the King of Cups here. They still have a lot of feelings towards you. That's for sure. With the Eight of Swords here, this person can be in an energy of in their head about you. It's it's an energy of like, well, I done all these things. Spirit, can I have what it is that I want? Okay, this person is in their head about you because you never spoke about your feelings. All right, so that's what I'm saying. You got to come all the way correct. All right, because this person will withdraw. This is Virgo energy with the hermit card. I feel like they're already doing it. Okay, I'm getting some like an animal licking their wounds. You know, this person could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, right? Take it and switch it how it resonates, but this is for Cancer. So, bottom deck is the star card because this person is your wish fulfillment, right? As soon as you realize what it is within yourself, right? That makes you tick, that inspires you, your essence, right? It just links up because likes attract in the universe and you're going to come together. All of this endings and burnout and all that will fade away. And with the Eight of Pentacles here, it's a direct result of the work that was put in. So let's go ahead and pull three cards. I want to know what is the outcome of this read, please. And thank you. Bottom deck is Uranus energy. So this is an unusual example of something. Okay, it may not have been its conventional way that it could have been conceived before. Some of you all can be conceiving, all right? But others of you, this is talking about knowledge, okay? This is talking about unfoldment of Christ consciousness, okay? Uh, somebody here is an old soul. Maybe you need to look up the logos, all right? Also... Um, this is an, an unexpected change that comes about, okay? And it really changes your perception of how you look at this person and how you look at things. We also have the eighth house, a major change. So this is a major change. It's almost like a tower card, okay? But it ignites what? Personal power, all right? So you're going to transform from this, all right? And it's going to be mysterious as fuck. You may not understand why all these things are going on, but do we need to all the time? Do we all the time need to know why things happen? No, we need to apply what has happened and move forward. Okay, we need to not waste no more time, right? And get to the point so we could be living the life we were created to live. And I feel like you're awakened to that cancer. We also have Saturn energy, maturity, all right? It, it's, this maturity is brought about by discipline and going about things a certain way and having caution, you know, and discernment when things are getting out of hand or they're not going the way that you want them to go, right? This is telling me that you'll be able to maintain what it is that you get cancer, Okay. We have Taurus energy, right? Your belief system, all right? And the way to get to the main purpose, the main point here, right? Would be two people to come together that are twin flames, right? To serve a higher purpose in humanity, in this reality. So... Your belief system could change, all right? You could have been a little bit limited on that, but I'm telling you, you're about to open up, all right, because of the experiences that you've had or will have. And it says your goals, Capricorn energy. You know I've been spitting this out all day, Capricorn, 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 right? It's talking about your day-to-day -day reality, the goals you set for yourself every day. I see that discipline coming out for you, Cancer. I see you maintaining the things that you have received. The blessings that are coming your way, you will be able to maintain them. And they will stick around for a very long time. 
That's how you're going to create that harmony and forgive your past and care for the earth. So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your patience, love, and support as always. Until then, peace and love.